Hey, what's going on guys? Code Mikey here. Uh, starting from this video, we're going to be implementing some watering techniques. So the idea behind watering is very close uh, in regards to the alphabet algorithm itself. So if you just have a look uh, at the algorithm, at the alphabet al algorithm itself, that we can see that the particular place where uh, we can save uh, some notes from getting traversed is this uh, fail hard beta cutoff. So uh, the principle is, is very simple. The sooner we get the beta cutoff, the less nodes uh, we will need to traverse overall. So that's kind of it. And in case if the node that would be causing the beta cutoff would be in, at the very bottom of the move list, then there's no much difference between the brute force Nigamax search and this alphabet of prime because uh, if we don't have this bit of cutoffs, alpha works just like a best score within the uh, minimax algorithm, and that's just we, we, we want to be searching for all the branches that we don't really need. But uh, th that's that's uh, uh, we're gonna be doomed to that scenario in case if bit of cutoff is not about to be occurring uh, before, uh, like uh, in the first few moves within the move list. So one of the ideas of how to make this bit of cutoffs occurring as early as possible is to score captures above quiet moves because uh, if you're doing a capture most likely uh, it would produce the bit of cutoff later on. So uh, let's imagine the situation when uh, you want you need uh, to recapture opponent's queen and literally all the other moves don't really make much sense because uh, you would be queen down after that, so that's the only option to do. And if this, say, cap capture the queen back move would be the first one within the move list, then we don't really need to calculate for all the other moves. So that's the general idea. And now, just to give you an idea of how slow the chess engine is uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, uh, when it works without move ordering. Uh, so well, I just want to give you this uh, visual uh, example example to to get an idea. So let's compile and run the source. So make debug, and if it compiles, I want to run the BBC binary executable. And I just want to uh, go to the debugging mode here. So let's search position starting position at the depth of two. Uh, Okay, let's 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 search the start this this starting position at the depth of two. That's just fine. So, uh, okay, we got twenty one notes. Good. So let's go for. Well, uh, you know, like it's not it's not a good good idea to to uh, to deal with a start position because there are really there 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 are really lots of non capture moves but if you just go to well let's uh, well actually i have this position uh, i call it cmk which stands for code monkey king position it's the position i really like to play as white uh, and surprisingly this position shows to be quite pretty interesting in terms of uh, debugging the move ordering believe it or not so Let's have a look at the position itself. And you see already at the depth of two. Oh, okay, this just, just was compiled, sorry. So, best move F8, E8. Yeah, so uh, it's searching moves for black. So let's go and increase the depth. I'm just really wondering uh, does it take this depth into account or not, basically? Yeah, it should have. Okay, so already at the depth of three. Plus, it takes kind of really, really lots of time to, to get the result, which is really bad thing to be honest. Uh, and hold on a second, I'm just wondering. Oh, uh, uh, I just I just missed one little thing. I didn't calculate notes within the questions, I guess. So let me just quickly fix that. Uh, let's go to the question search. Oh yeah, obviously. So I just forgot to calculate the notes. Uh, within the question so I just want to increment notes count here and just say notes plus plus because I see like the the, the number of notes is is really uh, too too miserable there 
that, that can be true. Okay, let's start with a depth one again, and that should give really more nodes. Okay, so at depth one, we have this number of nodes. Okay, now let's go to the depth two. Okay. So it's kind of really a lot of nodes. So we have 30, uh, uh, 300 uh, thousands, or oh my god, yeah, 300 thousands nodes, uh, which is really too, too much for th this sort of a position. But if we go for, say, depth that three sorry just flies here uh, if we just go to the depth three uh, it, it only takes kind of too long to calculate it's only the depth three that's I just want to show you like how slow uh, the alphabet search uh, is without the move over and then we would be comparing this so it already has two million nodes at only depth of three it's it's too much it's really too much you're not gonna be <laughs> playing the real game, game of chess with this miserable speed, obviously. So it's almost like the brute force search, so uh, the bit of cutoff securing uh, too far within the move list, and that's that's not a good idea, obviously. So what I want to do now, uh, I just want to introduce the very first technique that we would be using in order to improve our move ordering, and uh, the first thing we would be doing is actually uh, putting captures uh, in the top of of our move list. Obviously, we'll need to write functions like score move and then the sort moves functions. But uh, at least in this video, I would uh, I would like to give you an idea of what uh, is most uh, valuable valuable victim less uh, valuable attacker technique is all about. So um, let me go back to the search. And if my buffer still contains this, okay, it, oh, it doesn't contain. Uh, hold on a sec. I just wanted to show you this uh, sort of a lookup table here. So what is MVV LVA? So uh, most valuable victim, last val less uh, least uh, valuable attacker. So the idea is to score captures uh, the following way. Say if we have pawn takes queen, then this move should be evaluated uh, kind of the most uh, the, uh, should should get the highest score. Well, actually, the highest score is get uh, we get the highest score when pawn uh, captures the king. We get this six uh, six hundred and five. Then when pawn captures the queen, we get this five hundred and five, and so on in the descending order. But let's say that queen is actually capturing a pawn. We have only this value, and queen capturing a knight having only this value which means that if uh, we would be comparing two moves like uh, the move where pawn is going to be capturing bishop compare say to when queen is going to be capturing the pawn obviously we'll, can, we'll take uh, the move where pawn capturing bishop first and we would search it first and uh, we, would, we will hope uh, that this uh, that this move would actually produce a bit of cutoff and reduce the space of our search. So that's the basic idea. And now, uh, the, and here we have the lookup table for MVV LVA values. Well, so, some engines prefer to initialize this manually, but I really like this implementation. Implementation, and it might seem that it has some redundancy, like. Uh, within this array, we can capture, we can evaluate captures when white pieces capturing black pieces, uh, capturing white pieces, which is not the case. But uh, we'll make use of this. Mm, we'll, uh, we'll make you. We'll uh, go for a little hack uh, regarding in peasant squares, uh, regarding in peasant captures, uh, making use of this feature that uh, our MVVLV array actually allows us to capture. Uh, own pieces as well so uh, that, that would be covered later on so by, by now I just want to show you how in particular the lookup for this MVV LVA kind of works so let's drop down uh, where the source code begins and I don't really want the search for now and I just want to print F and let's call this move score and then the decimal value and uh, the new line at the very end. 
And here I just want to reference the MVVLVA array the following way. So first uh, we have the attacker and then we have the victim. I'm just wondering, did I, uh, did I actually specify this? So just want to uh, specify that uh, MVV LVA and we have attacker and then we have the victim like this. Okay, so let's take, uh, let's say that attacker would be white pawn and the uh, victim uh, would be black queen. And this should give give us the score of 505 according to the table uh, that was shown above. So let's have a look. So move score. Okay, we got this 505. Perfect. If pawn is going to be capturing the king, it would give 600 and 605. And just just for comparison, uh, well, let's let's make like pawn takes queen here. And just for, for comparison, here I would like, so here let's say uh, pawn takes queen, and here uh, we'll say like uh, qu uh, queen, well, let's take black queen takes uh, white pawn. And just uh, shift them like this and run the code again, then we'll see the following picture. So this move is scored more compared to this one so that's the very the very simple idea and mm, you can play around with this uh, uh, but, but with uh, shifting uh, attackers and victims in various orders the only thing that i can say that uh, we can also capture all pieces here which obviously not the case for the game but the scores would be the same so to say so here you see like we are capturing a white queen with the white pawn and we have the same score. So th this might be handy from time to time. And the same with the black pieces obviously. So this is this is kind of it. So we'll probably just okay, I just want to have a look maybe some uh, hundreds So if king takes pawn, yeah, let's see the scenario where, yeah, so if king, if king takes, yeah, let's see the scenario where the king takes pawn, so Let's say black king takes white pawn, and here respectively black king takes white pawn. So it, it scores only a hundred. So uh, another idea here. So uh, I just want to say that taking the pawn with a king is worse compared to taking it with a queen because. Uh, king is more valuable attacker and that compared to to the queen so uh, it's, it's not really that great but taking with the pawn is the best case so uh, well probably to make it even more clear uh, I would like to yeah I would spend time and actually try to implement uh, some key possibilities here so let's say pawn takes win and then Pawn takes. Uh, pawn takes. Uh, well, let's start. Pawn takes king, uh, like this. Then takes queen, and here respectively, pawn takes queen, and here. Well, actually, all this would be pawns. Okay. Regardless of color, really. So king, queen, rook, bishop, knight, and oh, knight, and pawn, and respectively here, same. So. 
king, queen, rook, bishop, knight, and pawn. So let's have a look at the output. So here are the scores. So uh, this the move that is scored the best ever is when we take in with a pawn. Then if we take in with a queen, uh, so if, if we take in with a pawn all the pieces, then here, here, here how it looks basically. So the more valuable victim is, the greater score is. So that's that's kind of it. Uh, and let's say if we just try the same but uh, instead of pawn we'll take let's say the knights j j just want to give you the idea of this comparison comparison between the victims and the attackers so okay let's go uh, now when we have the knights, uh, it scores a little, a little bit less compared when we capture them with the pawns. It's still quite pretty good, but uh, why this move scores less than this one? Why are you taking, uh, uh, well, let's or let's say this one. Why are you taking queen with the pawn is worse compared to taking queen with the knight here. Well, that's because uh, if we just lose the pawn after, it's not that big deal if if we lose a knight that's the reason to score this move higher than this one because pawn is less valuable attacker compared to the knight so knight is more valuable attacker and that's the reason why the score is less so uh, i encourage you guys to play around with with this value back and forth to get uh, uh, to actually get an idea like how the moves are kind of getting scored here and hopefully this uh this would this would give you an idea behind this uh, well-known move ordering technique. Obviously, it's not the only technique that could be applied, and uh, we could we could also use so-called static exchange evaluation. And I hope to implement that one day within this uh, engine as well, and hopefully to cover that within the video tutorials. But not but at least not in the very first version of uh, Bitboard Chess Engine. So. Okay, this is it from my side, and I think that actually starting from the next video we're gonna be implementing our score move function. So we would be able to extract the piece and the piece from the target square and score the move basing on MVV LVA heuristics. So that's kind of the plan. Like okay, so this is it from my side. I uh, uh, hope you learned something interesting out of this tutorial. Hope to see you in the next videos as well. So until then, and take care.